Well, you join me back in another Volkswagen, this time the Touareg R-Line Tech Black Edition, which has been kindly loaned to me by Ellsby Volkswagen, part of the Marshall Group. Today, I'm exploring all of the technology advancements in this luxury generation of Touareg. This is the third generation of its type, and I'm gonna walk you through all of the spec highlights, driving characteristics, and what you need to know. So let's get straight into the video. I'm Matt, and you're watching Kafari. Based on Volkswagen's MLM platform, the new Touareg is a well-oiled machine featuring sector-leading technology and advancements. In fact, it's come a long way since its 2003 launch and still features the basis of what the KN is now built on. Sharing the MLM platform, you can find out more information about the latest KN Coupe Turbo GT by checking out the video here. Seen as Volkswagen's flagship model, the new Touareg is bigger, lighter and more efficient than the outgoing model, making this an even stronger proposition for those that are aspiring for a big SUV. In the Black Edition trim, there are three choices of engine, a lower powered V6 diesel, a higher powered V6 turbo diesel and what we're driving today, a 3 litre turbocharged petrol with 340 horsepower and 450 newton metres of torque. It reaches 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds with a top speed of 155 miles an hour. What's more, this Touareg can tow a braked trailer weight of 3.5 tonnes, which will be effortless thanks to the 8-speed Tiptronic automatic and 4-motion all-wheel drive system, ideal for towing Mr and Mrs Ed, or better still, a nice powerboat. Speaking of powerboats, the Touareg doesn't quite have the 911 poise that the Porsche Cayenne has, However, it does a pretty good job of masking its weight thanks to some trick features such as air suspension, dynamic chassis control, all-terrain settings as well as off-road modes, and the all-important rear-wheel steering, which really helps for the car to have agility at low speed as well as great turn-in on corners. The Black Edition features 21-inch Suzuka alloy wheels, R-Line detailing, gloss black trim, and it also has R-Line Vienna leather on the inside, along with features such as park assist and also keyless entry and keyless go. One of the other fantastic features of this particular model is the IQ LED lighting, which is featured on the last two Volkswagens that I've driven from Marshalls. Like most SUVs of this nature, the Touareg Black Edition will be more at home on-road than off-road. That's not to say the car isn't capable, but more that you'd have to be completely mad to sling this nigh-on £70,000 car down ruined green lanes. Having said that, this car definitely has the skills to deliver if you've chosen to take your dose of crazy that day. This nomadic wagon is ready with hill descent control in forward and reverse gears, approach angle vision thanks to the 360 degree cameras, and raised airbox in the engine bay to aid wading. But back to this car's natural habitat, it can swallow a family of five's luggage with ease thanks to 810 litres of load space, as well as keeping its passengers in a soothing and palatial environment thanks to features such as four zone climate control, a huge panoramic sunroof and the bask of LED ambient lighting.
As for the drive, the active steering really helps to give the car some more manoeuvrability at low speed and during turn-in. However, the car does have a tendency to pitch and dive under load, which is not as well managed as the BMW X5 or Porsche Cayenne. But let's not forget that this particular car is a much more affordable SUV and a much more affordable luxury SUV featuring some very cool technology that's not featured in other competition in this sector. Featuring a 15 inch touchscreen known as InnerVision plus the 12 inch digital driver's display, the visual displays in the Touareg are incredible and so clear. Just like the GTI Club Sport and ID3 I've driven recently, the Black Edition features a Discover Nav system with lots of personalization, driver information, connectivity and control of the car's settings. I particularly like the Google Maps setup on the virtual cockpits, plus the haptic controls and menus do seem a little easier and more intuitive on the Touareg. What's really apparent with this new generation of Touareg is its adjustability and its comfort levels and the technological advancements that have not been seen in previous models. If a big family SUV is your thing, well this could be the car for you. It's so beautifully inviting for its passengers, making use of fine luxury materials, opulence and great space and things like the sunroof the LED reading lights, the adjustability in the seats and the rake and the position all help for this car to be a really inviting place for the passenger. Does it drive as well as the BMW X5? Well, I'm not sure it does because the X5 is a little bit sharper. But what I like about the Volkswagen is it's familiar, it's grown up and it's not trying to be a BMW or a Mercedes. Volkswagen are typically not conformists and the design of this car and its look is so beautifully subtle and it really makes this car something to be looked at and admired. And it's so stylish and subtle in the way it goes about its business. One thing is for certain, this particular trim feels special, premium and expensive. It has an aura that exerts an exclusivity and opulence that leaves the occupants in no doubt that they are sat in something more elite than the average soft roader. With the big wheels, air suspension set to low and the darkened glass, it has a real presence. So when lined up against the competition, it's bringing an A game. But one better is the pricing. With huge deposit contributions and low rate finance, I think if you're looking for something different from the masses, this could well be the car for you. More affordable, more interesting and definitely more equipment than ever before. Well, thank you for watching. If you'd like to know more about this particular car and others just like it, check out Ellsby Volkswagen, part of the Marshall Group, and subscribe to my channel to see content just like it. But for now, I need to go because I've got to give this huge thing a wash before it goes back. So I'll see you in the next video. Like it if you enjoyed the video, share it if you loved it, and subscribe if you'd like to see more.